Let's troubleshoot the firmware update on Godox flashes today in the studio. Hello there, my name is Alex Silva. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing in order for you to learn more about photography in general, but flash photography in particular. Today, I'd like to share with you two points. One is I'd like to share my experiences about updating the firmware in my Godox gear, the issues that I run into and how I troubleshoot them. Maybe that will help you. Another thing is that I noticed, you probably did too, I noticed a pattern that how we should go through the whole um, firmware, firmware updating process. So I made something, something special for you. Let's make sure that you stay until the end of the video. First, let's troubleshoot. At some point during the firmware upgrade, uh, I connected the, the um, flash to the computer using a USB cable. And for some reason, the computer or the software that was already running on the computer did not recognize that the flash was connected. Uh, so I pretty much ran into uh, different solutions. The most common or yeah, the, the first uh, time that it happened, I changed the cable. Uh, I switched to a different one and I switched to one that I mentioned in some of the, the videos. Um, it, was, it, it, it was a cable that I really uh, trusted, made by Sony. They don't make cables anymore, but I uh, made sure to, to, to link to uh, some cables in the description below. One that is a micro USB and the other is uh, USB type C. Um, the, that is one of the most common problems that I've read in some uh, forums about this uh, problem or this uh, process. And let's make sure that you have a good quality cable. Another uh, point that I ran into, once that I had uh, a good cable, but one, uh, actually two flashes were not recognized by the computer. Uh, then the problem was that I forgot to remove the batteries from the flashes. Uh, if you... Uh, keep the batteries on the flash and you try to connect the the uh, the, fl the the cable to the to the flash the computer will not recognize it. so let's make sure that your batteries are out of uh, out of the flash now when you remove the flash the or when you remove the batteries um or before you do it let's make sure that you discharge the flash Okay, any remaining charge uh, may interfere with the process. Let's make sure that you press the discharge button and then remove the, the batteries right away. If this doesn't work, you probably need to, let's say, reset or do some sort of soft discharge or something like that. Um, this happened to me most uh, with my 350s. Let me show you. What I did with the 350 was that I removed the, the batteries. I removed the batteries and then I made sure that I pressed the mode button while pressing the power button. I know the batteries are not in the flash anymore, so you won't see any activity in the screen. However, this makes this ensures that you have no longer any charge in the circuits inside the flash. And then when I connected the cable on the USB port, everything worked correctly. Um, I ran into this issue with the v, with the TT6. Uh, TT 350, um, but I also ran into this problem with one of my TT 685s, and in this particular case, I just needed to reset it. 
you can just reset the flash normally. Let me show you again. You can reset the flash normally with the batteries on just by pressing the reset uh, buttons, the, the uh, function buttons two and three and holding them, I think, for six seconds. Um, well, this is pretty much the same uh, process. You need to make sure that the batteries are out, that you have no batteries in your flash, and then you do the exact same thing. You press function buttons two and three. Oh, wait, you need to turn it on. Press function buttons two and three, and this should, uh, let's say, as I mentioned before, I think this is called a slow discharge or something like that. And uh, this will ensure that you have no charge remaining in your circuits and you should be able to now connect through the micro USB port and do the, the full um, update. Finally, another common issue that I have read about and one that I ran into um, was that at some point I was not running my installer software as administrator. That's super important for you to do it in order for the computer to be able to rightly con correctly connect to your flash and do the, the whole update. The only exception that I ran into um, was with the uh, TT350. Um, at first, I was running the, the software as administrator, and uh, even after resetting the, the flash, um, the software did not, did not recognize the flash. And then I blinded the, did a test in which um, I opened the installer uh, software as a regular program, not as administrator, and then the update just worked. Now let's talk about the updating process in general. Uh, while doing this update with different um, uh, pieces of gear, different flashes and transmitters, um, I detected the pattern here. So I made a list of the different steps that you may need to take while doing the, um, the whole firmware and I made a document, actually a checklist for you. So you can follow this process in an orderly fashion. Um, let me show this to you. This is a PDF file that you probably can print and then follow with the natural pen and checking the boxes indicating if you are, let's say, updating a hot shoe uh, flash or a strobe you can indicate the model um, i should probably add a date and version um, field here but then in general terms you're going to have the three stages that i described in the in my videos you need to prepare update and test and the preparation, regardless of this being a, a Hatcho flash or a strobe or a transmitter, you need to get cables, place batteries on unit, verify the current firmware, download the corresponding installer, install it, and then download the firmware, things like that. Th these are the, sa the same steps, regardless of the kind of unit that you are you know, updating. So. Uh, I figured this could be a um, a useful uh, checklist for you and you can actually uh, download it right away. You can download it uh, this uh, checklist that I that I just uh, showed just uh, clicking on the link that I shared in the description below. The only thing that I'm going to ask for you, uh, uh, that ask uh, from you in return, um, is for you to provide the email address. Um, I uh, send uh, emails very uh, rarely, uh, just a few times during the year, 
and I hate spam, so you can be sure that I will not share your email address with anyone. But in any case, I will ask for uh, for your email address so that, that maybe at some point I can share it with, I can send you some useful more useful information through email or if there uh, there are any important changes with the website or with the YouTube channel I will let you know through email. And of course, after you give me your email address, I will email you back with the link for you to download the file. And as you can see, the troubleshooting can be more or less easy. You just need to be patient. And if you run into any more issues, make sure that you share them in the comments below so I can probably make a follow up to this video. I really hope you found this video interesting, informative, but also entertaining. If that is the case, please press the like button or you can also press the thanks button. You can subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. But most of all, please remember to stay safe, keep learning and keep creating. And I'll see you in the next video.